This next series of scenes involves the tank gang. This idea was here from the beginning and it stayed in the picture for about two and a half years. I loved the idea of Marlon and Nemo getting separated from Dory and that Dory would have to figure out how to handle things on her own. Bye. That idea stayed, but how I decided to do that was they got separated in the shipping lanes where they meet the squid now in the movie. And she would end up at MLI. Marlon and Nemo would bump into the tank gang who had escaped their baggies and were now this crack Mission Impossible fish gang. And the reason it got cut was because it ultimately became more about Marlon and didn't support Dory's story. All good things lead to having the wherewithal to cut something out of the picture, and there should be no regrets, but I must admit I have, I have a tinge of regret losing this whole subplot. Peach, what's her bearing? 150 degrees westward of the Prime Meridian. Jack, you got that? Wait, what are we doing? Are we doing something else? What is he doing? Oh. Bubbles, tanker schedule. The SS Bridge travels west from the Port of Shanghai, third Wednesday of every month. Perfect. That means a tanker going our way should be arriving right above. Speak. They're climbing up the hull, invading the bridge, causing a distraction, <laughs> incapacitating the guards, breaching the map cabinets, and using the information that you gave us to plot the coordinates of Dory's last two known sightings. Voila. That, my fishy friend, will determine that Dory is currently at... Attitude, 34.4167, longitude, 119.6422. And Bubbles, that is... Array Life Institute, California! That's... Perfect. The mission's accomplished. Now cut the line. What? But you just cut it. it. We won't come on. We're headed for California, gang. We should get there in no time. He did it. Hi, Vale here. So you like Disney animated movies? Well, I've got an interesting fact from The Little Mermaid. In that it was the last Disney animated film to use the time-consuming process of hand-painted cells and analog camera and film work. 1,100 backgrounds featured, 1,000 different colors and over 1 million drawings were done in all. Adding to that, the last shot completed in The Little Mermaid, where Ariel is reaching up through the skylight of her grotto, took four attempts to get the optical effects perfect. Whoa. My favorite Disney film is The Sword in the Stone, and my favorite character is Archimedes, the owl. What's yours? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to our channel for all the best animated film releases. Bye!